AutoBleam 0.8.5 has just been released and I'm going to show you guys how to get it loaded up and what those new features are. This is Steve from Nostalgia, and let's get started. All right, so I always get my builds early as you guys know, so I'm not gonna show you guys specifically where to download this new version of AutoBleam, but as always, the links will be in the description down below. So go on down there and go ahead and grab yourself a copy. I've already got my files pre-extracted, and if we take a look inside of what's actually coming in this folder, sorry, it opened up on my other screen over there, uh, you'll see that everything pretty much looks the same with the exception of one additional folder and now we have a folder called apps So that's primarily going to be the big change uh, With this new version of AutoBleam. So I'm going to go into a little bit more detail But essentially we now have four additional applications So those applications are going to be the doom shareware app Which is going to be included on all of the uh, the builds. So once you download it You'll actually be able to play the shareware version of doom uh, additionally, we've got the Amiberry, which is the Amiga game emulator. And we've got Open Bore as well. And then of course we have our Retro Boot. So those are gonna be our four apps. Now I'm gonna show you guys a little bit on the Open Bore, but I'm not gonna do much on the Amiga game emulator just because it's a little bit more complicated. Uh, it's definitely for more advanced users and it does require a BIOS to be loaded in. So what I'll probably do is I'll do a separate video dedicated to that to show you guys how to get that up and running as well. But in this video, I'll definitely show you guys how to get Open Bore up and running. So, in terms of the build, it's very simple. You download it, you extract it, you open it up, and you've got all of this. If this is a new build for you and you never used AutoBleam before, it's really simple. You just have to copy all the contents from this folder into your empty USB drive that is formatted as FAT32. And additionally, the USB drive needs to be labeled SONY in all caps. If you are like me and you are upgrading from your previous version, then all you have to do is grab your USB drive, which I've got right over here. You highlight the folders and just drag and drop. It's going to go ahead and calculate and it will ask you if you want to replace any of the files with the same name. As always, we are going to say yes. Perfect, so now that that is complete, we are actually done with the upgrade. Again, if this is a new build for you, you just gotta copy them onto your blank USB drive. Uh, but before we get ahead of ourselves, we're gonna close this folder. I'm actually gonna move my USB drive over because that's going to be important. And then I'm gonna pull up all of my open bore uh, pack files. So these are gonna be the games itself that'll run on the emulator. And if you wanna get this up and running, it's really simple. All you've gotta do is open up this new apps folder that we have. And then inside here, we've got something called Open Bore. We're gonna double click on that. And then inside that, there's another Open Bore folder. We'll click on that. And then there's a PAX folder. So we're gonna open up the PAX folder and then all we have to do is drag and drop whatever games we want to uh, play on our console right on in here. So we're just gonna go ahead and grab a bunch of games at random and load them on. Okay, so now that we've got uh, a handful of games loaded on there, uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove our USB stick from our computer. We're gonna pop it into our PlayStation Classic and we're gonna go ahead and get that loaded up. All right, so here we are on the PlayStation Classic with our new version of AutoBleam. The first thing that we're gonna go ahead and take a look at is AutoBleam itself. So we're gonna go ahead and press start on AutoBleam. We're gonna go ahead and open up the Evolution UI build. And what we're gonna see right away is everything looks pretty much the same. Uh, and normally what you could do is you could press the select button at this point to navigate through all of the games on the console or just the USB games or just the uh, built-in PlayStation Classic games and, and things like that. But it, they've actually changed things. So at this point, if you remember in the last release, if you held the L2 button and press select, you would have access to a subcategory, almost like a, a, a filtering system. So what they've done now is they've created all the PlayStation Classic games to be on its own game category filtering system. So from here, you can select all games, you can select internal games, or if you wanna go ahead and take a look at just the USB titles, uh, or if you wanna look at some of your favorited games, for example, uh, you can do that right from here. 
If you press the select button from this menu, it's actually gonna move you over into the retro arc uh, playlist that you've got. So again, if you hold the L2 button and press select, you now have access to everything here. In the last version of AutoBleam, uh, they released the addition of having a uh, favorites section. So if you have a favorites section within RetroArch, it would populate here. I haven't created a favorites section, that's why you're not seeing it on screen. But what they've also included now is the history section. So as you guys know on RetroArch, if you play a bunch of games, it'll all be displayed in a separate category called history. So you can see what games you've actually gone through and played uh, over the last X amount of time. So now that gets carried over into this build as well. So that's actually really cool to see. I love that uh, they're kind of integrating RetroArch and AutoBleam and kind of meshing them all together to be one. If you press select again to get to the next menu, that's where we've got all of our new features. As you can see here now on the top, it said showing apps and there's four of them. Obviously the one that everyone here should be familiar with is Retroboot. Uh, we have access to Retroboot now right through AutoBleam, which is really nice and handy instead of going back out to the main menu. But additionally, we have all of the other ports that we were talking about earlier in the video. So as you can see, we have the AmiBerry, which is the Amiga emulator for the PlayStation Classic. We've got KMFD Manic, who's collaborating with Screamer and really optimizing the snot out of these emulators to get them to run really well. So a big shout out to both those guys. They're doing amazing, amazing work. Now, KMFD is gonna to continue to collaborate on different things in the future. So as we move further into development for the PlayStation Classic, we are gonna get a ton more ports coming in. So I'm really excited to see that. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Amiga is something that's a little bit more difficult. And what I'll probably end up doing is just doing a separate video showing you guys how to get the BIOS loaded up and how to get it running properly. So that'll be something that we do in another video. As you can see, we also have the Doom software that's gonna be on here. The game runs exactly like the original Doom game does. And I'll show you guys a little bit of footage of that in a little bit. And then this is the next big one that a ton of people are really excited for. We now have open board that's been ported over to the PlayStation Classic specifically for AutoBleam. So I've tested this out and it plays really, really, really well. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. It's gonna give us instruction as to what all of our buttons are going to be. So as you can see, it kind of says, hey, this is all the information that you need. You're gonna use your D-pad to move the character. You've got your X and your circle buttons, and then you've also got your L1 and your R1 buttons that are gonna be able to be used. Uh, the start button is gonna be your start button and your select button is to take a screenshot. The nice thing that they've also included here is if you ever want to get back into AutoBleam, all you have to do is press the power button on the PlayStation Classic to quit back out to AutoBleam. So that's nice. We're going to go ahead and press X. And as you can see, we're going to get our open bore extreme uh, splash screen loaded up right on the screen. And then it takes us right on into a game selection. So any of the games that we loaded onto our USB drive in that directory, they're all going to display here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull one of the games up really quickly. Uh, we'll go ahead with uh, Dragon Ball Z Gold. And we're gonna go ahead and get the game started. And we're gonna pick Gohan to get started up with this. So I think that's who we're gonna choose as our character. And the game plays and feels pretty good. It's, there's no slowdowns, there's no input lag or anything. It just feels generally really good. Okay, so when we press the power button on our PlayStation Classic, it takes us right on back to our AutoBleam menu. And that's pretty much it for this video. I'm gonna go ahead and finish us off by loading up Doom and showing you guys how that looks. But that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I genuinely appreciate it. If you guys have any questions at all, please leave it in the comment section down below. And uh, that's pretty much it. Subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and I will talk to you guys again in the next one.